Good evening everyone, here's our latest video update on Typhoon Matma or Bagyong Henry on this Tuesday evening, July 22nd as we continue to watch this typhoon move ever closer to Taiwan expecting landfall that to occur later this evening. The system was last located approximately 230 kilometers north-northeast from Basco Batanes in uh, the Philippines or about 300 kilometers south-southeast of Taipei, Taiwan. Maximum sustained winds, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, remain at 130 km per hour with gusts of up to 185 km per hour. Meanwhile, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has slightly increased the winds to 155 km per hour with gusts of up to 195 km per hour, making Matmo a Category 2 typhoon, not the Category 3 that we were uh, forecasting from, from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. But, um, again, the system will still be very dangerous, not only because of the strong winds, but also, again, because of that widespread heavy rains that will be moving across Taiwan over the next 12 to 24 hours. Uh, the system uh, Matmo is currently moving north-northwestward at 25 kilometers per hour, and, again, expecting that landfall to occur in about 6 hours out here in uh, uh, central uh, portions of Taiwan. And looking at the latest infrared image loop, and again, you can see the system becoming more uh, symmetrical and more defined over the past 24 hours. Remember yesterday in our uh, in our last video update, we were talking about how the system was struggling with wind shear, and how it never really able to it was never really able to uh, to improve that core and organization. However, again, as it moved closer to Taiwan uh, this afternoon, you can see the eye actually beginning to take shape there. It will run out of time as it is starting to interact with the mountainous regions out here in Taiwan, which is good news. It limits the intensification, but we, were, we are still expecting some pretty heavy rain to move into the island. And looking at the latest uh, radar image from the Central Weather Bureau, and again, you see that eye from Matmo moving much closer now to the eastern coast. Heavy rains, pockets of light to moderate and heavy rains now moving from the east to the west affecting already parts of Hualien County and Taitung and even into Yilan County and also parts of Taipei reporting some uh, scattered thunderstorms uh, already moving in and also winds of up to 200 km per hour already being recorded in the outlying islands out here expect those winds, rains and the entire the, the overall weather conditions to rapidly deteriorate over the next 12 to 24 hours again heavy rains will be encompassing much of Taiwan over the next 24 hours, you're expecting some pretty torrential rainfall amounts to fall out in that region. Now, as far as the rainfall forecast is concerned, you can see, again, keep using this model, COAMP's high-resolution model, but it's been doing a pretty good job in the rainfall accumulations uh, lately. And again, you can see this model uh, pretty much showing widespread 300 to as much as 500 millimeters of rainfall across Taiwan. And even, you can see that red, uh, pockets of red shading there that translates to 800 to as much as 1,000 millimeters of rainfall uh, especially along the central and northern portions of Taiwan and that uh, figure isn't really that oh, su su surprising we've seen those rainfall amounts 1,000 millimeters before in past typhoons as they moved across the island uh, again as far as as strong as the winds are the main threat here will be uh, the heavy rains. Taiwan is pretty much used to those strong winds uh, battering, uh, the, uh, battering the region uh, during the typhoon season. But again, we, the, the, those torrential rainfalls are just uh, going, to be, uh, going to be very dangerous as we move into the next few hours here. And with that said, the Central Weather Bureau, again from Taiwan, issuing numerous warnings and advisories across the region here. Not only we have the sea and land typhoon warning, but we also have different advisories for rains, uh, anywhere from extremely heavy rain to extremely torrential rains, especially along the eastern coast and again, especially along the county of Hualien, as uh, that area will be facing the right front quadrant of Matma relative to the motion of the typhoon and this is our map here from Western Pacific weather again highlighting where we think the heaviest flood threat will be and again pretty much highlighting the uh, the county of Hualien as the track of the storm you can see here on the uh, the line colored in violet that's where the joint typhoon warning center is thinking the eye will pass and as I've said before the right front quadrant will experience the heaviest rains pretty much across Hualien and uh, even parts of Yilan County 
could see uh, some uh, massive, massive uh, flood threats. And uh, again, highlighted on this map as well is the mountainous areas. You can see those uh, high mountains and valleys right to the uh, right to the east of the mountain range. We're probably going to be seeing some widespread landslides and even again flooding across the low-lying areas here. So hopefully, the government have made uh, enough preparations and enough again uh, given enough warnings to the residents out in this region to again prepare and avoid uh, this uh, this potential uh, potentially torrential threat from the heavy rain now after Taiwan um, typhoon Madma will be crossing into the Taiwan Strait by tomorrow morning and then perhaps making landfall in the province of Fujian in uh, southeastern China by tomorrow afternoon Wednesday perhaps it's a minimal category 1 typhoon but still will be bringing in some dangerous wind conditions and some storm surge along the coast uh, but again the heavy the the main threat uh, for southeastern China will be the heavy rains and as we expect the system will rapidly weaken as it moved in further inland moving northward and perhaps recurving to the northeast as you move into uh, Thursday and Friday passing well west uh, well west of Shanghai but will still likely bring in, uh, bring some light to moderate rain showers in the region there <clears throat> that was the forecast from the joint typhoon warning center and here is the latest from the Japan meteorological agency and again showing you that track cross Taiwan and into southeastern China perhaps in the province of Fujian by tomorrow afternoon and then moving northward across again uh, move passing uh, west of Shanghai and uh, moving north northeastward and perhaps again dissipating as a tropical depression as you move into the latter part of this week but the threat of heavy rains will not only uh, be felt across Taiwan but again also parts of eastern China and that pretty much concludes our video update this evening if you have any reports uh, from your area, please share them with us. If you have pictures or videos that you want to share, please do so on our website and also on our Facebook page. And as always, please heed the warnings and forecasts of your local officials and stay safe out there. And as always, keep updated on our websites and on our Facebook page. Uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel. And as always, stay safe. See you in our next update. Good night.